I had the idea of becoming a criminal mastermind in Stardew Valley. So I downloaded three separate mods that allow me to break the law in Pelican Town with the goal of making or stealing 10,000 gold. The catch is that if I'm seen by one of those pesky goody two-shoe villagers, then the run is over and I'll end up behind bars. I tried to go for an outfit that made us seem the least bit like a criminal as possible. I think I did pretty well. Perfectly inspicuous citizen. Don't mind me in Pelican Town, I'm just your average citizen man. So here's our objectives for today, right? We have to make 10,000 gold only from crimes and the crimes we have are shoplifting, going into the trash can and beating people up. I have to steal from every single store in Pelican Town. Sandy doesn't count because Sandy's not in Pelican Town. If I'm seen at any point in the run while committing the crimes, that's when it's over. So if we go to Pierre's shop, he'll be selling something new for us that will be very useful to commit our crimes. Pierre's selling a lockpick. I don't know why Pierre thought it would be a good idea to sell a lockpick. I feel like that's very counterintuitive. Chickening out? Wait, what did you say to me? Reminds me of your grandpa? He's talking shit about my dead grandpa? Let's fight. I mean, if you say so, Lewis. <laughs> Did Mayor Lewis just go to heaven? Now that I have these shorts, I think I'm the mayor now. Oh my God, is that Lewis? Did we kill him? Sorry, say anything about my grandpa again. You ain't getting off that bed. I got a thousand gold for beating up Lewis. 10,000 gold might be a bit easy if we just have to beat up Lewis 10 times, which I will happily beat up Lewis 10 times. Stupid, <laughs> who's stupid when Pierre, you're selling a lockpick? Wait, I can buy two of them. Why did I buy a second lockpick? I think we only need one. Let's make Pierre's the first place that we hit. I wanna get revenge for all those potatoes I sold him and then he tried to sell back to me for like double the price. Oh shit, someone's almost seen us. I think now will be our first time to make some money. I think they've all gone to- <gasps> Where's he going? Oh, he's gone to bed. He has no idea. Shoplift? Yes, please. Five peach saplings? Okay, run, 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 run. Oh my God, that was exhilarating. Can I sell these back to him? Is he gonna realize that these are out of his stock? No one comes out of their home till like nine o'clock, right? A baguette? Pierre, how'd you sleep last night? I just happened to have these peach saplings that I just made. Wow, okay, so 10 grand might be um a too little of amount. One robbery. We just made seven and a half thousand gold. I'm thinking two, 10 grand might be too little. Marnie's never at her place. So on the day she's just gone and deciding that she doesn't run her business, we can just waltz on in. Poor thing. Look at the, Pam, look who's talking. Really wanted to beat the shit out of Pam in the middle of a Joja Mart, but Shane, you're in the way. Do it, I can't. If I beat her up and Shane sees me, then I get kicked out of Pelican Town. Did Shane move? That's for Penny, Pam. We're already almost at our goal. It will be easy. I just felt like I had to. I think today, let's target the Star Drop Saloon. I've got the perfect crime for it. Hey, Gus, can I get a beer for that? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go drink it. Uh, I'm just gonna go drink it uh, up. <laughs> no one will know that I'm hiding up here. And once the saloon closes down, all I have to do is waltz on down and take it from the counter. I don't even have to lockpick my way in. <clears throat> wow, doesn't time move so fast when you're having fun? Go, go. Oh no! Clint, what are you doing here? It's one o'clock. Did he see me? Do we need an action replay on that? Oh, that's all I can take is a pizza. He just waltzed on in. The saloon has closed. Oh, we're gonna pass out too. It's fine, no one saw us pass out. We've been pushed back when it comes to the money, but we did get to keep the pizza, so that's nice. Can I steal from Jojo Mart? Steal from the big corporations? Remember kids, don't steal from small businesses. Take from the corporations. Wait, Harvey isn't there? I mean, I feel bad stealing from the local doctor, but it's free money. Energy tonic, two of them? Go, 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 run, 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 run. I can now put these drugs on the black market. These drugs are going right into the black market. <coughs> 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 
Do you think she heard that? Is Willie in his shop or is he out fishing somewhere? Willie's not in here either. You've already shoplift today. That's enough. It's never enough. Is it some sort of law that I can't shoplift more than once a day? That is going off to our nice friendly drug traffickers who stop in at nighttime. We've actually just started a cartel in Pelican Town. We are the beginning of the Stardew Valley black market. Silk Valley. <laughs> Are you gonna be Walter White? No, because RT Games has already done a Walter White gimmick for uh, Stardew Valley. I'm gonna be a little more like a Narcos. Wait, Marnie's not here. Wait, 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 wait. It's nice to see you, Marnie. Have a good day. Wait, Marnie's away from the shop. And she's li Hey, Shane. It's so nice to see you, Shane. I've just, uh, I've just come to give, give you a visit and introduce myself. I've come to introduce myself. I'm the new farmer. I am. Um, that's what I was doing. I'm kid busy. Can't can you tell? I, I can tell. I can see you're a very, you're a very busy man. Um, I'll let you. I'll let you be. Don't tell. Uh, don't tell anyone I was here. We're just gonna have to wait here till nighttime. I didn't see Marnie come back yet, right? She's probably on her way. Oh, does Marnie hang out at the saloon until eleven? Oh, 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 oh! Then don't mind me. I'm just, just um. You're having a nice seat at the, at the bench, Marnie. We need to take off this glow ring. We need to be in the shadows, lurking at all times. I'm going to feel pleasure stealing from you, Marnie. Where is she? There she is. She's fast asleep. Is she wearing a nightcap? Hey, that's all you have in stock is hay? That, okay. Sure. I'll take the 12 hay. Thanks, Marnie. Oh, no. We're going to pass out again. At least get to the house. No, I didn't even get to the house in time. I don't think I'm a very good criminal. So we can just, we can't sell this hay back to her, right? I think today should be the day that we finally hit Willie's. As nighttime hits, so do I. Is Willie at the pub? Is that where he goes on a Monday night? Oh, um, 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 hey, Willie, how's it going? It was late at night and you know, I really, I realized I don't have my, um, um, I was really craving some trout soup. I just, weird cravings for some trout soup. And I thought, what better place to come along than to hang out with Willie, my good pirate friend, and drink some trout soup. Yummy. Thanks for the, thanks for the late night chats, Willie. That was way too close. I think the next best thing we can do is maybe try Clint's. Clint's fast asleep. Wait, am I just buying from you? No, I'm not here to shop. I'm here to shoplift. It's two different things. I'm here to I'm here to steal from you. Tonight was a bust. It was a bad bust. We almost got caught so many times. The hay made me no money. Someone dropped you off at the clinic last night. You've passed out from exhaustion. I'll build you 936 gold. I don't have health insurance. Last night, a Joja team member found you incapacitated. A medical team was dispatched to bring you home safely. We've billed you 878 for this service. Joja has cheaper medical care than Harvey. Suddenly, I don't feel bad for robbing Harvey. There was like an extra $100. Willie goes to the saloon to drink. Then while he's there, we can just, we can just go on down and steal. There he is, there he is. All right, what has he got in here? Trout soup in his cash register. He just has two bowls of trout soup. Where do you think you're going, pal? Oh, you want to go to bed? Huh? Huh? Oh, you want to go to bed? Huh? Huh? Not on my lap. Watch. Robin's missing her favorite axe. You're going to be missing a lot more than that because tonight we're going to be robbing your place. We're going to be robbing your place? Oh my God. That's really funny. Robin's out. We can use the back entrance. Is it this easy? Just like that through the back. <sighs> That was way too close. Got close. Robin almost saw us. 19 stone. Okay. We made 38 gold. We really are a master criminal. Clint's going to be out washing away his misery and his feelings for Emily in the saloon. While he's out in the saloon, that's when we sneak in. He's off. A three iron ore. I think... I think Pelican Town might just be a bit poor. What's in his bedroom? If he's only just going to give us iron ore, he can at least give us some secrets. Dear Emily, I know you only think of me as a friend. It's my fault. I'm too shy. I'll never have the courage to tell you the truth. That's why I'm writing this letter to myself that I'll certainly crumple up and toss in the corner. 
Oh my god, what a loser. No wonder he was so easy to rob. It's even less than yesterday. We're really just scraping up to 10,000 at this point. The, okay, so the egg festival is today. Now would be the perfect time to steal. Everyone's hanging out in town and I can just go into Mia Lewis's house. I guess it'd be pretty obvious that it was me though because everyone else would be in town and I'd be the only one that's not there. Oh, it's too easy. Stole it from right out from underneath their noses. Kind of want to see if we can go rob the Joja Mart. Who's going to expect a robbery right after we've just won the egg festival? There's no way that he'll have the energy to go rob the... The biggest supermarket in Pelican Town. The final hit. Oh, they're still just both here. Maybe I can shoplift from the... No. Alright, let's just go rob Pierre then. Why is he still awake? I can't let you know I was here, Pierre. I'm sorry. You'll forget all this in a moment. We've hit the mother load. We've hit the actual mother load and we don't have enough space. The final hit to retire on one last score and we managed to pull it off without anyone ever knowing. He's not gonna remember a thing. Look at that bank, 17 grand. Who says crime doesn't pay?